For a security interest to attach to collateral, an authenticated security agreement must provide an adequate description of the collateral. A bankruptcy court considered the sufficiency of such collateral description in the case in Ray Heinz. Christopher James loaned Matthew and Lorena Heinz $375,000. The parties executed a promissory note granting James a security interest in all the Heinz's assets. The Heinz's later filed for Chapter 7 bankruptcy. The Heinz's named James as a secured creditor and listed, among other things, Matthew's equity interest in a business known as Tutoring Zone as an asset. Teresa Bender, the bankruptcy trustee, filed a notice of intent to sell Matthew's equity interest in Tutoring Zone. James objected to the sale, arguing that his security interest in all the Heinz's assets included Matthew's equity interest. Bender moved for summary judgment. She argued that James didn't have a valid security interest because the promissory note's collateral description was insufficient. James countered that evidence outside of the document's four corners, known as parole evidence, must be considered in determining the meaning of a collateral description. The bankruptcy court considered Bender's motion. 